Madhuri Dandar Pranam, Jai Shila Prabhupada. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, Prabhuji. Now I can. Okay, thank Yes, Prabhuji, we can hear you. Thank you, Madhuri. We'll wait for a few minutes. Others, if they want to join. Sure, Prabhuji. Can one of you send a reminder? Yeah, yes, Prabhuji. I'll thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Prabhuji. Prabhuji, in the meantime, may I ask one question, Prabhuji, with respect to chanting? Yes, go ahead, Maharaj. Prabhuji, when, uh, when we are uh, chanting in the later part of the day and uh, uh, there is total distraction, very, ha uh, very hard to connect, uh, in that case, is it okay to stop the chanting or uh, should we continue, Prabhuji? Is it regarding extra rounds, minimum rounds? Minimum rounds. And then what is the alternative? Uh, should we go ahead with the chanting or uh, should we stop and uh, take a break or something again? Like, uh, uh... Mm, Yeah, understood. One thing One we can thing. try is chanting few mantras no in the mind. That okay. Sachinder Mara says that's like a break where we keep chanting, but in the mind. And after seven, eight mantras, we try to build the spiritual energy, bring the mind on focus. And then again, as the inspiration comes from within, then we again start getting louder. Okay. My experience okay. is not that uh, if we are unable to connect. Uh, say at 4 p.m., then we can connect better at 6 p.m. Hmm. Okay. So what, what we usually try to do is, uh, for whatever reason I could not connect, with a prayerful mood, we keep chanting, Krishna, please help me. And yeah, then, yes. if, even if we are not able to connect or it's difficult to chant, we pray. Um, like, it is said, uh, we can pray that Krishna, I'm chanting to please you. Hmm. Krishna, please help me. Or, uh, Krishna, if you want me to go through a difficult time, I'm your servant. You can treat with me in any way you like. Krishna, I'm going, just going to take your name. Um, hmm. It doesn't matter how I feel. So, these are some of the ways to express to Krishna our determination. And it's up to Krishna when he helps us to absorb. And when he, like, uh, Chaitanya, I Chaitanya Sikshashtika verse says, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, My Lord, you can embrace me or you can make me broken hearted by not being present before me. You can do anything you like with me. I am your eternal servant. So 
that mood applies to our chanting as well. Krishna, you can uh, help me connect with you. Krishna, you can neglect me by not being able to connect with you. I'm going to continue chanting your holy names, independent of how you deal with me. And, okay, so in that way, like the mind is under the control of comes under the control uh, control of Krishna's energy, and uh, in the prayerful mood, we will be able to chant. Yes, better. this is one one approach to um, take shelter of Krishna, take shelter of holy name. Another approach is um, well, it is because of my own activity. It is because of my own karma that uh, mm -hmm. I am not able to connect. But whatever be the case, I want to favorably serve Krishna. I want to be, I, I want to try to be everyone's well wisher, to serve everyone. And knowingly or knowingly something happens. That's all right. It is something coming back to me. And the chanting of the holy name itself will nullify the reaction, whatever I may be going through. If it is not something known to us, if it is unknown, then there is not much we can do. But Vishnu Chakravati Thakur says, holy name itself nullifies it. So we chant, we chant with struggle, and chanting with struggle leads to chanting with absorption by itself, by the process of purifying effect of the holy name itself. Sure, Prabhuji. All right? Yeah, yes, Prabhuji. Oh, yeah, that brings lots of clarity. I will try, Prabhuji. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Does anyone remember where we were the last time we discussed? I remember we were doing the five potent forms of devotional service. Which Anga we were discussing, I don't remember. Uh, worshipping the Tulsi Maharani, uh, I think we were, but I am not very sure. Tulsi we discussed, I remember. Then we started the next chapter. Okay. Did we discuss uh, uh, rendering service to devotees is higher than serving Krishna? Yes, Prabhuji. Okay. Did we discuss the importance of worshipping, practicing devotional service in the month of Kartik? Okay. Did we discuss worshipping the deity? Yes, we did. We finished the deity worship. There were four slides in that. Like the, what are the regulations and rules to be followed when we do the deity worship? Correct, Prabhuji. Like, oh, that is different. Oh, okay. This so, is. Um, yeah. Um. Okay. Let's start from deity worship. Only four slides, anyways, in this section. I remember we are discussing about uh, devotees, Prabhuji, how to Yeah, I think so this is uh, we discussed this one who claims to be my devotee is not my devotee. Yes? Yes? Mm. Remember? No? Let me become a sincere servant of the devotees because by serving them, one can achieve unalloyed devotional service onto the lotus feet of the Lord. The service of devotees diminishes all miserable conditions and develops within one a deep devotional love for Supreme Personality of God. Did we discuss this? Yes, probably. Okay. Okay. So probably we'll discuss from here. Serving the Lord according to one's position. And little bit repetition is anyways okay. Oma Gyan Timiran Thasya Gyanan Jana Shalakaya Yakshivan Militam Gena Tasmaish Nikumena 
नमा विष्णु पादा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांता स्वामी नीति नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिने निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारिने जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैता गदारा श्रीवासारी गौर भक्त बिंदा हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मुखम करोति वाचाल पंगुम लंगायते गिरी यत्कृपा तम वंदे श्री गुरु दीन सारिण परमानंद माधव श्री चैतन्यश्वर Okay, I'm little bit, little bit outside, so I'm using my phone hotspot to connect. So I'm not able to turn on the video because of bandwidth. We'll have a short discussion because uh, uh, we have Jayapata Kamara visiting in Michigan. Those who are not from Michigan, others already know. Maharaj is meeting um, the temple residents at ten thirty. So that's why we may only be able to speak for fifteen twenty minutes today. So serving. Hare Krishna, the... Prabhu ji. Hare Krishna. Sorry, Prabhu ji. Hare Krishna, Dhanwad Pranam, Prabhu. Prabhu ji, ah, uh, will it, the darshan will be live, Prabhu ji? Yeah, but that's why Maharaj visit. Oh, yeah. Maharaj gave a live class yesterday. Um, and I mean, this is just like a brahmachari. Maybe Brahmachari class, the current that I'm going now. Um, there mm -hmm. is a live program in the evening, and then there are initiation ceremony tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow evening. Maybe so, Kumari Radha Devi, if you get update, can you send them the Zoom link? Sure, Prabhuji, I will do that. Even yesterday's session, I think uh, Nandini Sundari Masi posted in the other group. So I will post yesterday's one as well, Prabhuji. Link here. Okay, thank you. Th thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you, Mata. Hare Krishna. Okay, serving the Lord according to one's position. In the Padma Puran, there is a statement that one should perform the ceremonies for the Lord according to one's financial position. Everyone should absorb, observe the different ceremonies and celebrations of the Lord by all means. So basic understanding is... Uh, based on what one can afford one should serve krishna accordingly like my spiritual master says we may support very nicely but then we offer only a leaf not very nice idea or if we are not able to support anything if we offer a leaf krishna is pleased but one should offer service to krishna according to one's position uh, there is an example in Bhagavatam where Sri Krishna went to two homes. Um, I don't remember their name. One of them was very poor and one of them was a king. So king received Sri Krishna with a huge uh, opulence. And the person, the poor person, he made him, he made Krishna sit on a uh, floor and served him with plantain leaf, but, but with his full love. And Bhagavatam says Krishna was equally pleased with both. So one should serve Krishna according to one's position. Or in other words, whatever best we can do to serve Krishna um, is the sign of our devotional service. Like whatever best we can offer to Krishna in terms of food, or whatever best altar we can have for Krishna, um, whatever best dresses and jewelry we can have for Krishna, based on our capacity. Whatever best we can do, we should try to serve Krishna accordingly. Then, <clears throat> but at the same time, Prabhupada mentions um, for serving Krishna uh, or deity worship, two most important items. One is cleanliness. One is uh, punctuality. When we serve Krishna at our home, the altar should be clean. I have seen in many homes, especially uh, when they offer uh, a lamp, the 
the lamp holder, the deep, that is black. And then on the top, they put another deep and then they offer it to Krishna. So that's a kind of negligence. Um, it's, it's not very conducive for our growth of bhakti. <clears throat> Mm. Or uh, the arati plate have many spots, so devotees can buy you know things like pitambari and uh, um, there are many things to clean the brass, but keep it clean. I did a seminar in Mayapur on deity worship, so this you know they are like uh, there is a deity deity ministry. They visit all the temples to see the quality of worship in each temple. And if it is up to the standard, up to the scorn standard. So this, uh, I think his name is Nashing Prabhu. He is the in charge of deity ministry worldwide. He was saying that when I visit temple, I only see uh, the paraphernalia. Yeah, okay, sorry. I only see, um, he said, I only see the paraphernalia. And he said, if paraphernalia is clean, that's a sign that uh, deity worship is going on nicely. So, cleanliness and punctuality. This because uh, um, when we are worshiping the Lord, um, we are conscious about His comfort, and that's how we become Krishna conscious at home. Is by becoming conscious of Him. Now, at a very advanced stage, we can remember Krishna, Krishna's form, Krishna's qualities, Krishna's pastimes. Um, but right now, many of us may not be in that stage. So, deity worship helps us to remain Krishna conscious in day-to-day -day life as of now. Anything of anything cooked, did Krishna eat it? Or if it is late, oh, Krishna is tired, I haven't put him to sleep. Or whatever worship, uh, whatever we are doing, um, if we are thinking of Krishna, like especially I have seen um, devotees, pujaris, they are usually very Krishna conscious because they are constantly thinking about serving Krishna, early morning serving Krishna, afternoon arati, afternoon bhoga, is it offered, then uh, 4 p.m. service is there, is it, is it going on, um, are we on time? Uh, did we offer nicely then evening dressing so in a way it is natural for them to think of Krishna so um, deity worship it is said that uh, especially devotees who um, who are not uh, living in a temple uh, worshipping the deities um, really make them centered around Krishna so one is punctuality and one is cleanliness. That this helps us to remember Krishna more. Also, we see when the place is clean, we want to worship. Sometimes we see on the picture there is some dust or the altar. So it's nice to have a schedule like okay, every week cleaning, bathing. If we have deities, if deities are not there, still we can remain Krishna conscious by seeing Krishna in the picture, because. Um, we have discussed many times uh, Uddhav and Lord Krishna's conversation, 11th canto Bhagavata. Um, that says that one can worship me in a painting in the mind, in a deity form made of either a stone or a metal or a clay, uh, mud, uh, uh, various ways. So Krishna, Krishna will reciprocate. Uh, if we just Keep bring him in the center of our life. Okay, then performing devotional service in Karthik in the Padma Puran it is said the Lord may offer liberation or material happiness to a devotee, but after some devotional service has been execu executed, particularly in Mathura during the month of Karthik, the devotee want only to attend pure devotional service onto him. So if somebody in Mathura in the month of Karthik, if he renders, um, if he serves Krishna like offering a lamb or singing the Mother Rush to come, um, um, if somebody worships Krishna 
with the desire to attain pure devotional service, with the desire to attain pure devotional service, then the Lord may give him liberation. And here liberation for us refers to uh, back to Godhead. Who's that? What is the time? Tell him we are coming at 30. Next, next time. Yeah. Yeah. We are outside 10 30 your time. Yeah. Okay, so this is uh, okay. So um there is uh, this is from Padma Puran, the importance of worshipping Krishna in the month of Kartik. If you see Damodarashtakam is very nice actually. Because Damodar Ashtakam says, uh, I don't want liberation. I don't want any other benediction. Thousands and thousands of benedictions are of no use to me. Let me only remember you in this in this form of Bala Bhopal. Um, just like you gave pure devotional service to Nala Kuvira and Mani Griva. Um, likewise, um, give, I, I aspire only that goal of pure devotional service. Now, the rest of very nice mood is there. And it is said that somebody, and another thing is when we offer any prayers or when we sing any song, we should try to be in a prayerful mood as coming from the song itself. Like if you are sing, singing, suppose some of you, if you do Mangal Arati, if you are singing, Samsar Dhava Nalani Dhaloka then one can remember that um, my life is full of anxiety because uh, I am bound up in this cycle of birth and death in this material existence. Um, and the mercy of my spiritual master is like the shower from the clouds. It's like a rain gives a cooling effect. So to such a spiritual master, I offer my respectful obeisances. So it's not that we develop any other prayerful mood, but whatever we are singing, we try to absorb ourselves in the meaning. Just like when we bow down to Vaishnavas, we say, Vanchakalpa tadu bhesha kripa sindhu be evacha patita nam pavane bhyo vaishnave bhyo namo namaha. The Vaishnavas are like desire trees, who can fulfill all my desires? What is my desire? My desire is I want to develop attachment for Krishna. I want when will my relationship with Krishna thicken? When will I become full of Krishna in my in my in my consciousness? Um, like recently we we're discussing with a group of devotees how there is no limit to an extent to which one can become full of Krishna. Um, like, uh, there is an example. It is very nice. Uh, there is an example of Pundarik Vidyanivi, those who have heard. So, there is uh, uh, Gadadar Pandit and there was Shivas Thakur. Um, and I'm sure we know Shivas Thakur is Narad Muni's incarnate and Gadadar Pandit is Radharani's effulgence incarnate. So Gadadar Pandit, uh, he uh, he was told by Shivas Thakur that a great saint has come. His name is Pundarik. Let us go to see him. So Gadadar Pandit said, yeah, why not? Let us go. So they both went. And Pundarik Vidyanidhi was sitting in, his, sitting in his couch, very comfortable. He had oil on his hairs, nicely dressed in tuxedos and suits. There was nice food items brought to him in golden plate. Um, he was telling everyone what to do. Uh, everybody was treating him like a king. And he was completely doing things that seems to be um, materially very engrossed and in the mood to enjoy. So Gadada Pandit, when he saw these actions of Pandit Vidyanari, he became bewildered. Uh, why Shivas Thakur brought me here? He seems to be like... Uh, uh, like like a common materialist. Uh, and why did he bring me here? Then um, Shivas Thakur, when he was there, 
he composed a verse from third canto bhagavatam he recited a verse which begin, begins with aho bakiyam sthana kalakutam so basically it refers to uh, baki is bakasur and bakiyam is the younger sister of bakasur which was putana aho bakiyam sthana kalakutam sthana means like breast of a woman and kala is kalakutam is it was smeared with the poison uh, the snake poison she smeared poison and she came to breastfeed krishna um, and this particular verse says that when putana came with such ill motive to kill the young child young boy who was just less than 7 days old on the 6th day she came um krishna only saw krishna is so merciful karunavad he is so full of mercy that he only saw um oh this person is oh this she wants to nourish me she came with the in, she uh, you know like it's very interesting sometime krishna is called as bhava grahi janardana but in certain cases he is kriya jai janardana he doesn't see the bhav he sees the karma sometimes he doesn't see the karma he sees the bhav so if somebody ask what is he is he uh, kriya um, bhava grahi janardana or kriya grahi janardana he is whatever is favorable for others to show mercy he is just karuna mai janardana he just full of mercy so when he saw putana putana karya karma was good she is coming to breastfeed krishna but his her bhav was poisonous she wants to kill krishna so um, gave her uh, um, gave her uh, um, liberation gave her the portion of a mother but sometime krishna sees only the intention so it's like you know like krishna cannot be like you know it's not cannot be understood but one thing is krishna is all merciful so when um, the the love of pundrik vidyanidhi was so thick that uh, when he heard this verse oh where can how, how can i worship a lord more merciful than krishna uh, who gave the position of mother to the younger sister of baka who came with the uh, breast smear with poison with the intention to kill krishna and pundrik vidyanidhi um, that awakened such uh, love for krishna in him um that he became mad and he started scratching his body scratching his hair he threw the food and he started uh, throwing the servants away mm -hmm. uh, he fell on the ground he started rolling on the ground he started crying and gadada pandit when he saw pandit vidyanidhi he was thinking oh oh what did i do i committed a great offense he is such a great saint Uh, but somehow he misjudged him based on his based on his external so um be it's very difficult to even relate to that platform there is like little touch of krishna can uh, start burning them this is the kind of uh, um, attachment they have for krishna this kind of attachment is not visible in this material existence like one may love one's family member very much and one may miss them when they remember like we have commonly seen like mother especially in unfortunate situations where the child passes away in front of the mother um the mother the moment she thinks of the child she cries but over time it usually fades and she becomes more and more settled so here we see the devotees of krishna who are thick with love for krishna one instance of krishna uh, because it's it's all depending upon one's attachment to krishna like we see in this instance of uh, it is said that uh, sukadev goswami uh, he did not take the name of shrimati radharani because uh, parikshit he was speaking shrimad bhagavatam parikshit maharaj has only 7 days and if he takes the name then he may go in ecstasy and he may not be able to speak but he wanted to focus on his service to give krishna to parikshit maharaj and all the sages so he is so he is so afraid that taking her name 
he doesn't know what will happen to her so he's like conscious he's consciously avoiding so this is one state i mean this is this is commonly seen in all, all the past times of lord krishna and vrindavan where one thought and they goes they go into um, a deep loving exchange so there is no limit to how much one can become attached to krishna i mean it's a very high platform um, to become attached to krishna because right now our devotion is regulative regulated means we are trying to develop attachment to krishna but what it means to be attached to krishna is like uh, like natural spontaneous attraction it is said in the beginning of our attraction is only to the process to hearing about krishna to chanting krishna's name but when we actually start developing love for krishna then we develop attachment for the personality for the person then we become more attached to krishna then the process of devotional service in the beginning stages we don't we cannot relate much to krishna we can only relate to the process of devotional service and our whole focus is on the process itself chanting more rounds hearing serving remaining krishna conscious the process this will help us to develop that attachment to a person just like like that point of time we relate to him like a person then comes this feeling of uh, um, um, like these are the later verses of siksha ashtakam krishna please pick me up please call me back please uh, somehow that i fall in the ocean of cycle of birth and that um, please place me as an atom at your lotus feet so there is when this deep desire comes for that attraction to krishna and love is like way beyond attraction and attachment like it becomes thickened and thickened and thickened and thick 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 how the sky is the limit so where we are where we want to go there is a difference between like day and night it's like darkness for us is like little bit here and there and we feel satisfied with little little here and there and that is also to increase our faith <clears throat> and we'll read the second one the purport is that the lord does not award devotional service to ordinary persons who are not serious about it i mean one devotee was telling that uh, those who are very serious about practicing devotional service like very serious either they are like sannyasis or full timers or continuously trying to serve krishna even they find it so hard to relate personally with krishna or uh, to develop any sort of attachment to krishna it takes like decades um to start feeling for krishna so when it is so hard for uh, those who are fully dedicated to krishna but to speak about those who um do devotional service as like you know here and there do devotional service and rest of the time do my things and be absorbed in many thing and little bit devotional service so here it says the purport is the lord does not award in nectar of devotion first verse first chapter says sudurlava sudurlava it is extremely rare because um, when one develops attachment for krishna whatever a devotee wants krishna does the prayer does not even reach krishna and it is answered in other words uh, because krishna is all powerful krishna is everything everything is under the control of krishna whatever devotee wants krishna fulfills so um, krishna does not want to be controlled easily by those who do not have a deep love for krishna just like ourselves we don't want to be controlled easily we want to be controlled by those who have deep love for us but we don't want to we don't want our life in the hand of anyone and everyone so likewise krishna does not want to give his life in the hand of anyone and everyone it is just based on you know and if if we see what attracts krishna is the loving affection is the love but it is like so far out uh doing something for krishna out of love but that's the only thing that attracts krishna so the purport is that lord does not award devotional service to ordinary persons who are not serious about it um even those who are serious very rarely krishna awards 
but even such unserious person who execute devotional service according to the regulatory principles during the month of Karthik and within the jurisdiction of Mathura in India are very easily awarded the Lord's personal service. But if somehow or other in Vrindavan in the month of Karthik you desire pure devotional service, it is very easy to please Krishna. That's why sometimes it is said bhakti on sale. Without much effort, you can get a lot of progress in the month of Pati by rendering devotional service. Okay, probably this is the last slide we discussed today. Observing festivals, celebrating the Lord's activity. This statement of the Bhavishya Puran gives evidence that by observing different functions in relationship with the Lord, one is sure to become pleasing to the Lord. Observing different functions in relationship with the Lord, like when the day Lord was installed, um, the day of Krishna Janmashtami, Radhashtami, God Purnima, Dityantaradashi. Observing different functions in relationship with the Lord, one is sure to become pleasing to the Lord. That's why devotees should be very enthusiastic to serve and enthusiastic to participate in the functions related to Krishna and also related to Krishna's devotees. Like Prabhupada's appearance, disappearance day, Saraswati Thakur appearance, disappearance day. So, Krishna's devotees, um, Krishna, Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, the whole Antaraj, um, then we become, when the more we are enthusiastic, just like you see, um, you are doing a celebration, somebody comes and helps. Uh, you feel it's like, you know, Krishna is a person. Um, it's difficult to relate to him because um, we may not be on that platform. But Krishna is a person, Krishna is observing. And our activities are either pleasing to Krishna. And if they're pleasing to Krishna, it's either pleasing little or it's pleasing much or it's pleasing extremely to Krishna. And that's just based on uh, how enthusiastic we are to serve. Um, we all can serve in different ways. Um, but it's just, if we are observing um, in some capacity or the other, surely, at some point of time, we will become pleasing to Krishna. Okay, serving the deity with great devotion. This we will see, I think, we will begin next week. Now, let's see. Uh, I haven't received any call yet. Let's see if there are any questions. Discussion. Yes, Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Thank you so much for such an excellent discussion. I just wanted to say that the point that you made, Krishna is Karuna Mai Janardana. That gives a lot of hope. So many times it does happen that the activity is being performed, but the necessary bhava does not come in. So that gives the hope that despite the fact the Lord is still going to pick up the favorable of the two, uh, being the loving Lord, and still bless us uh, with his mercy. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mata. Thank you so much. Okay, is there any other discussion? All right, Prabhuji and Mata, please. Thank you very much. Sorry for the short discussion. I was thinking to not do, but then I thought last week also I was in New Vrindavan. So for the sake of continuity, I wanted to do maybe a little bit. Very grateful to all of you for joining. My obeisances to all of you. If I spoke anything wrong, please forgive me as a humble servant. Vanchakalpa taru bheshcha kripa sindhu be evacha patita nam pavane bheo vaishnave bheo namo nama anant koti vaishnav rinta ki jaya shila brahu paasthi jaya. Sangat pranam sari krishna. Thank you, Prabhuji Hare 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 Krishna.